Okay, welcome. Uh, today we will see uh, biology grade 10 unit 4 about food making and uh, growth implants. Our tutorial part 1. Uh, don't forget like uh, subscribe my channel. Okay. <coughs> Uh, unit for food making and uh, growth implant. Uh, our today uh, tutorial is about the leaf. Uh, next part, uh, next tutorial is about photosynthesis. The uh, third one is transport implant. The fourth one is uh, response implant. For part one, uh, about the leaf. Leaf is what is uh, a photosynthetic machine of a plant. It's a flat and a white, which is giving uh, a large surface area to collect light and also uh, short distance for gas uh, to diffuse. Characteristics of uh, a leaf, uh, it is a green, round, spongy, flat, thin, expanded, crinkly, oval, pointed, smooth, Quickly, soft, it is. We can tell so uh, many traits of uh, the leaf. External features of uh, the leaves are, or the outer part of the leaves are, one margin, it is a leaf border or the surrounding uh, edge of leaf. Two, a special is a stack of the leaf that joining the leaf to the stem. Three, lamina or a blade that a flat portion of the leaf or a green part all a green part of the leaf is known as lamina four bones is a pipeline that carry food and uh, water F uh, the fifth one is uh, midrib is the main veins and that consists of vascular tissue so, so sixth one is node place where a stem on a stem where leaf is attached uh, the seventh one is uh, leaf apex, hairs, and the thirteenth of speckles or glands are also external part of the leaf. This one is uh, midrib veins. Uh, this one is uh, lamina. This one is uh, pishorin. This one is leaf apex. This one is uh, margin. The flowering plant is a complete organism with organs carrying out particular function. Matter, there are four uh, main organs of flowering plants. One is uh, flowers, which is a reproductive structure function to make a plant and also it includes flowers, fruit, cones and seed. The second one is uh, leaves is a primary site for photosynthesis it uses light energy carbon dioxide and water to make food by photosynthesis the, the third one is stem support the elevated leaves and also transport water and nutrients between root and the uh, shoots and also store water and nutrients the fourth one is roots uh, it encodes the plant to the earth and also absorb minerals and water from the soil and it is store nutrients and also there are two systems of a plant uh, the first one is shoot system which include flowers leaves and stem the second system of plant is known as uh, root system which includes only roots organ adaptation of a leaf for photosynthesis the internal structure of leaves are adapted for photosynthesis to take place leaves have a number of different tissues and organs that makes adapted for photosynthesis are first one is wax cuticle the second one is uh, mesophyllic tissue the third one is vascular tissue the fourth one is epidermis tissue the fifth one is chloroplast we can look from this uh, anatomy of the leaf waxy critical is the upper part uh, it is uh, found upper part of uh, uh, above, above the upper epidermis uh, the inner one is uh, 
known as mesophily it can be thalassoid mesophily or spongy mesophily thalassoid uh, mesophily tissue is found between upper epidermis and the lower epidermis this is uh, this figure is uh, 4.1 is the cross section of leaf shows that leaves of the plant are perfectly adapted to make perfectly adapted to make the best possible to use lights that fills on them which makes them adapted for photosynthesis let us see one by one mesophyll is a packing tissue found between upper and the lower epidermis it have two types or layers the first one is palisade mesophyll the main or the most photosynthetic tissue of a leaf because it have many chloroplasts and also it is where light levels are high spongy mesophyll is uh, the main gas exchange tissue of a leaf it has a fewer cell with fewer chloroplasts so spongy mesophyll is uh, the minimum uh, photosynthetic tissue of the leaf vascular tissue is a part of transverse system in vascular uh, plants uh, it has contained two tissue xylem tissue and the phylum tissue xylem tissue is a dyed tissue that brings water and minerals from the soil to the leaves and phylum tissue is a level tissue which carries product of photosynthesis away from the leaves to all uh, the cell of the plants wax particle is a waterproof layer or means it helps to prevent water loss from the leaf the fourth one is epidermal tissue it is the outer protective structure of a leaf it has two parts upper epidermis it is a thin and transparent cell uh, that allow light to pass the lower epidermis is the surface layer of leaf containing stomata stomata allows what gas exchange into out of the leaf during photosynthesis and also it uh, requires loss of water vapors during transpiration garcil uh, is the only epidermis that contains chloroplast so it can undergo photosynthesis it also it controls garcil controls the opening and the closing of somata by altering the shape but uh, the shape the fusion is chloroplasts it contains a stack of membranes and it is organic in cytoplasma of a plant cell it is where chlorophyll is stored and photosynthesis takes place from this charts we can look parts of the leaf their structures and their functions let us see critical or which have have a waxy structure it is a waterproof layer of the leaf uh, it is also secreted by cell of the upper epidermis upper epidermis is a thin and transparent cell it have no chloroplast its function is what allow light to pass through and also bearer to disease organism thalassoid mesophyly a cell columnar in shape cell packed with chloroplast to trap lights its function is the main region for photosynthesis receive carbon dioxide by diffusion from air space in spongy mesophyly spongy mesophyly a cell is spherical loosely packed in shape and, and it is have fewer chloroplast the palisade air space be it is function is air space between cell allow gas exchange during photosynthesis carbon dioxide to the cell when oxygen is from the cell else vascular tissue or bundles a life vein made up of xylem and the phylum xylem vessels bring water and minerals to the leaf when phylum vessels transport sugar and amino acid away uh, or translocations through inside the body of the plants lower epidermis have a stomata 
its function protective layer stomata regulate loss of water vapor during transpiration and also it is site for gas exchange into out of the leaf into and out of the leaf stomata each stomata is surrounded by what air pairs of guard cells that control if the stomata is open or closed the function of the stomata is during transpiration water uh, vapor pass out during photosynthesis carbon dioxide diffuse in and oxygen is diffuse out Review question page 146 uh, question number one which of uh, which of the following is not an external feature of the leaf for what we have been discussed before so purely moderate chloroplast critical so the answer should be chloroplast c question number three which of the following is tissue where most photosynthetic uh, photosynthesis take place sponge mesophily palisade mesophily uh, epidermis or stomata so the answer should be b palisade mesophily question number three gas move in and out of the plant through a category b the stomata c the epidermis dissolved so the answer should be the stomata means b uh, thank you uh, for watching this video uh, don't forget uh, like subscribe share alligi science to channel thank you again for watching next time we will see uh, for what to do about photosynthesis until that uh, watch again and again this video thank you for watching again